Are you looking to move to Florida, Sarasota area in particular? We are in a crazy market down here. It is April of 2021, and we need to go through a couple steps how to navigate through this crazy market. Coming right up. Hello, Dan Henson, your local realtor here in Sarasota, Florida. And if this is your first time to the channel, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Today, we're gonna to go through the crazy market here in Florida. We have so much demand and so little supply that we need to review a couple things. We're gonna go through this in three easy steps. One is basically just talking about what's causing the market to do what it's doing. The second one is some challenges that we have, that how we can solve these challenges. And the third is about how to make your plan and put this all together. Of course, remember to stick around to the end because we have some bonus information that you're gonna to need to know. So let's get to it. So our first thing we have for you is the supply and demand issue. We have a very high demand with really low supply that's causing the prices to go up. Sometimes even every week or every two weeks on certain items, especially with the builders. So what's causing a lot of this? Uh, no matter what your political beliefs are, we have people moving to the Florida area driven by whatever's going on in their communities. They don't particularly like what's going on and we're having a lot of people come down here to the Florida area because things are different. So that being said, we also had the wonderful weather, the opportunity to work from home is allowed to give people to go anywhere they want to and maybe kind of get away from those cold winters. And uh, those are the things that already happened in Florida anyway. So we have a super high uh, demand with low supply. So the next thing we need to discuss is the builders and the new construction. We have a ton of builders, a ton of new construction going on between Sky Ranch, Palmer Ranch, Lakewood Ranch, people putting homes on the water, knocking old homes down and building new homes because everybody wants to be here. There is a big uh, push on new construction. But with what's happened in the world right now is we've had so many sales that the builders can't keep up. The lots they've cleared, they still haven't been permitted, so they have to wait for permitting. They can't get windows, they can't get trusses. If one of the workers gets sick on the crew, they shut that whole crew down on that building for two weeks. So this has really slowed down the process. What used to take seven months is now taking 10 months to a year. So when you buy a new home, it is gonna take 10 months to a year to be built. And that is also putting people back because they're trying to get their kids into schools, trying to get established. And now if you're looking at a new home, it is pretty much gonna be 10 months from the time you sign that contract. We are on a waiting list with 90% of the builders. Uh, some custom builders and some other builders are still taking orders, but again, their process has been stretched out. Now with most builders being on a waiting list, we are going to look at the resales. And that has really driven the price up on resales because if you wanna move into a home right now, the demand for these homes are there. So we even put an offer on a property, $640,000, on a $600,000 home, we did not get it. There was nine offers in 24 hours and my buyer did not get that home. So that's something you're also gonna to have to understand. Cash buyers are not even looking at appraisals because prices have moved so quickly. When the um, appraisers come out, they pull prices from you know three, four, six months ago uh, and those prices weren't the same as they are now so they're not appraising for the banks. So you're gonna to have to be willing on some properties to uh, pay the difference of the amount you offered um, over the appraisal, or you're competing with a cash buyer that's willing not to even worry about appraisal and just pay whatever they want. It's not every case, but it is very common in this market right now. And it's not to scare you, it's just for you to understand what uh, environment you're in for home purchasing right now. So now that we've gone through a lot of the concerns we need to worry about, let's look at some solutions. And one of the biggest one is being present. A lot of times, if a client is not here and walk through the home and I've done a video walkthrough, it's very difficult for the seller to accept that offer because they know that once the buyer does get here to look at the home within that inspection period, there's a chance that they might back out because they haven't really seen the home. So being present is really important. The next thing will help your offer get accepted is to have our pre-approval letters already in place or our proof of funds already in place so when we present this nice organized offer, it's gonna have proof of funds or a pre-approval letter from the bank showing the seller that you are serious about buying and you're ready to go. A couple more things would be having a creative offer. Make sure that there's plenty of flexibility in the offer to allow the seller to maybe possibly find a place, 
extended closings, or so forth. The more flexible you are in your offer, the more likely we will be able to purchase that home. So our third step is to look into our plan. Everybody has a different plan, the reason they're coming here. Could be the schools, could be the weather, could be a job. Uh, everybody's plan is different. So we really have to take everything that pertains to you and plan it into this environment we're in now. So if we're looking at new construction, we have to get you on the waiting list. So it's very important that your real estate agent is with you when you go to the builder to sign up, because if you sign up without your real estate agent there, or you go online and register without your real estate agent being on that slip, you will no longer be able to work with your agent. Builders will block out the agent and you'll no longer have anybody to work with you on that home purchase. So a good agent will make sure that therefore all your inspections, send you videos of what's going on and make sure they're following up with all the extra stuff that needs to be done till you get to the closing table. So if your plan is getting something right away, we're definitely gonna be looking at the resales and we really have to make sure we understand if it's gonna be the schools or the job you're taking on or whatever other reason that fits your profile. So we're gonna to have to be aggressive and make sure we have you on an automatic search. You can do it a couple different ways. You can call me, we'll get you set up, we'll do it from our side. You also can go on to sarasota-floridaliving.com and you can go ahead and do your own search there in the privacy of your own home and set notes in there and we'll go ahead and respond to those. But uh, any way that makes it best so you can get the information as fast as possible will give you that extra edge to know what's coming on the market. Now into our bonus information. It's a couple little more hints to let you know what's going on so you can make the correct decision. And one thing you need to know is interest rates. I work directly with several mortgage lenders and they're letting me know that we're probably gonna see some numbers getting into the 4% area here in the midsummer, possibly in the year. Again, nobody has a crystal ball, but the uh, interest rates are expected to go a little higher, which does affect your buying power. Um, another thing to remember is the building supplies. They're going through the roof. The builders that have already started uh, projects are losing money because the supplies are costing three and four times as much as they were before the project was started. So it's definitely gonna affect some pricing down the road. That's why we're seeing so many price increases with the, uh, the builders at this moment sometimes jumping $40,000 in less than three to four months. So we are seeing some of those things. Those are something you definitely have to be aware of. So the building. So our fun footage we have coming up is Nick. He's from the Northeast. His parents are down here with him. We're doing searches. We're getting them on lists. And he has a little message to make sure you can get a hold of us. And here we go. Here's Nick. Give us that call, shoot us that text, or send us that email. Okay, I think I got it. You got it? 